Madrid is the capital of Spain and the country's most visited city. With over 10 million visitors in 2018, Madrid is one of the most popular cities in Europe. The number of foreign tourists who visit Madrid continues to grow due to its rich culture, its numerous landmarks, great nightlife and fun activities. In Madrid, you can feel the true essence of Spain, in its elegant architecture, the life in its plazas and the delicious cuisine. Madrid has art bursting from the seams. The museums of the capital are packed with true jewels, from the leading painters and sculptors in history. The Prado, the Reina Sofia, and the Tissan make up the Golden Triangle, where you can enjoy the finest Spanish and international art. Rising amid the central Sierras of Spain, this is the late-night city of Dali and Hemingway, Ronaldo and Picasso, and those fast-talking 80s melodramas by Pedro Almodovar. There is imperial baroque and post-industrial cityscapes, street markets and seriously good museums. Despite its size and capital status, Madrid was often overlooked by those heading to Barcelona and the coast. But it emerged from Spain's economic downturn with its head held up high and a renewed appetite for inventive menus, opening up new green spaces such as the Madrid Rio and fresh-faced arts hubs. Plenty of hip cafes, yes, like the ones on Calle Panzano, but also those family-run joints that have endured for decades, where it's possible to chow down for a handful of euros. Rather than meeting it head-on, best to approach it through its different barrios, all with different characters, from upscale Salamanca to unbuttoned Chueca and multicultural lavapiés. And to really feel part of the scene, step out on La Marcha, hopping from one vermouth bar to another all evening long and making friends along the way. I offer you to jump right into it and check out some places where you can entertain yourself and gain unforgettable experience. Full of energy and packed with cultural attractions, Madrid is a modern metropolis that offers a taste of the real Spain. Wide avenues are congested with traffic, but beautiful parks break up the urban sprawl. Madrid doesn't have the traditional charm of Andalusia or the beauty of Barcelona, instead, it is a hub of social life with a happening cafe culture and bustling nightlife. The city is constantly buzzing with activity and there are so many things to see and do that tourists will be spoiled for choice. A truly world-class museum, the Prado Museum has a collection of more than 8 Spanish paintings from the 12th century to the early 19th century form the majority of the collection. The assortment of paintings by Francisco de Goya comprises a remarkable 140 works. Also not to be missed is Las Meninas, a depiction of the Spanish royal family of Felipe IV created by Velázquez in 1656. Other must-see works in the Spanish painting collection include The Annunciation by El Greco, Jacob's Dream by José de Ribera, The Third of May by Goya, and The Immaculate Conception by Murillo. Part of the Prado Museum's exhibition space includes a contemporary building in the renovated 16th-century cloister of the San Geronimo el Real Monastery. These galleries display a noteworthy collection of 17th-century Spanish religious paintings. Tourists will also appreciate the museum's gift shop and the café with a pleasant outdoor terrace. The Buen Retiro Park, Park del Retiro, is an oasis of peace in the heart of Madrid. This lush and beautifully manicured park offers an escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. The park encompasses more than 140 hectares and is shaded by over 15,000 trees. Created for the Count Duke of Olivares in the 17th century, the historic park has an elegant ambience with its lovely landscaping and tree-lined paths. During the reign of Isabella E. in the 19th century, the landscaping of the park was enhanced. The Parque del Retiro was owned by the Spanish royal family until the 19th century, since then it has been a public park. From the main entrance at the Plaza de Independencia, visitors arrive at the pool in the center of the park. From here, paths lead to the enchanting La Rosalita, Rose Garden, the formal French Jardin de Don Cecilio, and the Andalusian-style Jardines de Cecilio Rodriguez. Built in 1887, the Palacio de Cristal, Crystal Palace, is a splendid cast iron and glass pavilion that houses art exhibitions. The Crystal Palace looks out onto a graceful fountain and reflecting pool. Visitors will find other interesting fountains at Buen Retiro Park including Los Galapagos, the Turtles, El Ángel Cato, the Fallen Angel, and La Alcachafa, the Artichoke.
A pleasant pastime among locals is going for a spin on a row boat at the park's tranquil lake. Other favorite things to do include taking the kids to a puppet show at the Teatro de Tideres, taking walks on the scenic tree lined paths, and basking in the sun or relaxing in the shade at one of the park's outdoor cafes. For stargazers, the park has an observatory that was built in 1790. Wellington, one of the best resorts in Madrid, is located in the famous Salamanca area. The exterior of the complex looks modern, but there are also many decorative antiques that give the hotel an unusual charm. The number of rooms offers guests accommodation in a large number of comfortable rooms with all the conveniences inherent in the 21st century. On the territory of the complex, there is a luxurious swimming pool with a large area of sun loungers and sun loungers, a state of the art fitness center with extensive gym equipment. For those who crave adventure, The infrastructure of the resort area is nearby. It is no accident that the Madrid district of Salamanca attracts a lot of tourists' attention. For lovers of the highest culture, luxury, and amazing food, undoubtedly one of the best places in Madrid, Villa Magna, is very well suited. The complex is ideally located in one of the best tourist areas, close to the famous Golden Mile Shopping Avenue. Unique rooms with an exclusive design, in which there are elements of marble decoration, Are available for guests. All windows offer picturesque pictures of city beauties and attractions. For an excellent pastime, there is a health and wellness complex where highly qualified personnel offer the most advanced services in the field of beauty and relaxation. After the procedures, you will undoubtedly be tempted by the feeling of hunger. And a local restaurant that offers a wide variety of Spanish dishes to choose from. Relaxing at the Mercure Hotel complex means having an unforgettable experience in one of the most luxurious hotels in Madrid. The arrangement of the complex is made in the best traditions of our time, which, together with antique decor, are in perfect harmony and blend with each other. En suite bathrooms are a place where marble and gold will dazzle you with their wealth and beauty. If you are going to visit this royal place in a rented car, then free parking will be a great bonus. Of the many amenities, The spa center attracts special attention, where guests are treated like Persian kings. The residence of the hotel is located in the most interesting central area. So many sites of historical heritage and various tourist establishments are located in the immediate vicinity. Located in a nondescript residential neighborhood, Diverxo is the only restaurant in Madrid to hold three Michelin stars, and by the far the most memorable meal you're likely to have in the capital. Chef David Munoz was just 33 when he earned the third star, and his approach to cooking is as unconventional as it is delicious. There are two tasting menus to choose from 165 225 euro, and dishes arrive on slabs or specially designed recessed trays. Even the cutlery is unique. Diners receive dedicated utensils for each course instead of knives and forks. The menus are ever changing, depending on the chef's whim. But you can expect unusual ingredient pairings sea urchin with buffalo milk and pickled chili, octopus with kimchi and lapsang sushan tea, that work amazingly well. Advance reservations absolutely essential. Just north of the Plaza Mayor, this locally beloved cafe has been serving churros con chocolate to madrileños for over a hundred years. Of the few cafes in Madrid that serve only drinking chocolate, so thick that you can almost stand your spoon up in it, and churros, tubular, deep fried dough. This venerable place is the best known and the best loved. On Saturday and Sunday mornings, lines curl around the block, so get here early or late. Since the place is open almost around the clock, it also becomes crowded in the wee hours of the morning, when clubbers stop here on the way to or from the party. Good for munchies anytime. The first Mexican restaurant in Europe to earn a Michelin star, Punto MX, is a basement restaurant in the trendy Salamanca neighborhood, just north of Parque El Retiro. Unlike most other Mexican restaurants in the city, you won't find a single sombrero or Mexican flag here. The decor is modern and restrained, and the focus is squarely on the food. Mexican and Spanish ingredients are combined to create memorable dishes such as seared tuna tacos with green salsa, chilaquiles rojos with a wonderfully fiery sauce, baked marrowbone, and wagyu beef aranchera. Guacamole is prepared to order right at your table, and the service is smooth and professional. There's an extensive tequila and mezcal list, and their mezcal cocktails complement the food very well. Popular for romantic dates, reservations essential. Just north of Parque El Retiro, in the upmarket neighborhood of Salamanca, the best sushi in Madrid has earned Kabuki Wellington a Michelin star. 
The dining room is all clean lines, dark wood, and contemporary art pieces, with plenty of seating for solo patrons at the bar. Besides an extensive selection of super fresh sashimi and sushi classics, there are some wonderfully creative fusion efforts that combine Japanese and Spanish cooking traditions. These include fatty tuna belly with beef bone marrow, and sea bass carpaccio with mojo verde from the Canary Islands. There's an extensive sake list, an interesting wine selection, and the service is prompt and friendly. Reservations recommended.